Hi everyone and welcome along. Today, I'm so excited, we're going to paint cats playing around in autumn leaves. Um, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Every bit of interaction supports the channel and helps us out so much. Right, are you ready? Grab your paints and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to paint two cats playing in the autumn leaves. Um, so to draw a cat, what I like to do is I like to work out the sort of shoulder and then a sort of back leg haunch and I connect front to back, I might just make it a bit closer actually, front to back, front to back and then from there we can get a tail, we can get the legs, so we're going to have one, one paw coming down. We've got a cat who's sort of looking a bit in inquisitively. So we're going to have another of that little, like just a little drop paw. We're going to get, and then for the head, we can do so one more round shape. And then a little sort of box on the front there, but the ears can follow, follow the angle and then out come the back legs, curl it right around and those lovely little dainty paws and then imagine the other leg sort of behind there. So there we have one, and you can sort of you know, play around with the with the sort of personality of your cat. But that's quite a nice sort of starting point for your cat. And then I thought we'd have one sort of coming from the other direction, doing a similar kind of. <laughs> tentative playing with with the leaves as well because we'll have a few autumn leaves playing up in the air so I'm going to have this one the shoulder is a bit more hunched and the leg is going to come back like this and we'll have the the leg up like that so up up goes the back, so we might be a little arched. Tail's almost coming off the end of the paper. And down it comes and there's the head. And we'll have And suddenly, I think it's the ears that really do suddenly make you see a cat in front of you. So again, from this kind of circle, you can get the, the leg from behind. Place that the rest of that one in. And then just both being rather tentative with these autumn leaves, maybe they've seen something in underneath the pile that we haven't yet drawn. Okay, so there's our two cats in, in sketch form. What I always tend to do when I am uh, doing quite a lot of sketching and then I want to paint it is I lightly rub out that pencil before I've done anything else. Because this makes 
rubbing out pencil afterwards even easier because you're getting rid of most of it before you even start putting any paint on top of it. Right, let's paint the cats first. So for this one I'm going to do a sort of pale tabby. So I love buff titanium, it's a great colour, but I know not everybody has it because it's quite a new one for me. So if you don't have that you could just really dilute down your yellow ochre. I'm sort of doing a mixture of the two to begin with. So what I'm going to do for this cat, I've got a size 2 brush. I'm going to begin by painting a nice sort of uh, watery line sort of along the contours of the body and then just clean my brush off and just slightly sort of draw the colour in so you've got a bit more colour on the edges and then it, it just sort of fades a little bit to the interior of the body. Place the tail in as well and I want to get this done quite fast because I want the paint to still be a little bit wet for the next stage because I said that we're going to put a few markings on the cat but I also think just painting it in a way that makes you really sort of conscious of the contours and the shape of the body helps when you actually put patterns and markings on okay so I'm going to take a size zero brush and I've got some moon glow here which is a nice sort of grey grey tone just gonna sort of dilute that down a little bit and I'm going to just paint look at that that's fun isn't it and that feels really nice and fluffy and furry paint some nice stripes on and so we want to do this quite fast because we want to make sure that the colour remains that lovely furry style. So you could you could design this around your own cat. I wonder if your cat wanders along your uh, your painting area like some I've seen. <laughs> so for down here, I'll just do a few little contours, but essentially these are going to really soften and lighten as they dry. So we'll just put a little bit extra colour on the the face there. It's a lovely way of painting a cat without too much fuss, I think. We will of course go back and do a bit of uh, detail on the, on the face. But you could do all sorts of colours, couldn't you, with that? It would work really nicely. Um, for this one, I think we are, we'll do a sort of, I guess a tortoise shell, maybe that might be the right, the right bra um, brand, <laughs> my breed of cat. I don't know a huge amount about cat breeds, so I'm sure you can all tell me what it is I've created on this page. Um, so some, some nice warm tones, we'll get some orange in there as well. Some really dark color as well. You can just have some fun with it, can't you? But we're going to start with our lightest colour first and I'm going to put patches on our cat which again really want to be nice and uh, wet so that when I then place in some yellow ochre Oh, crumbles barking I did tell him we were painting cats and I wondered if it might evoke a reaction, provoke a reaction Then a bit of orange, I think. I 
and now for some burnt sienna so now just be a little bit careful with how you're placing your colors in because they are going to get darker you can of course leave some unpainted space if you like And then finish off with this lovely dark colour, which will kind of tie everything together actually. So if someone can tell me what kind of cat I've, I've created, I'd be very grateful. Just being careful around the ears and eyes. I think the dark colour really helps actually just bring everything together and remind you that you are actually painting a cat and not just a complete patchwork of things. Okay, so we've got some playing in autumn leaves kind of scene that we want to create. So autumn leaves, obviously we've got lovely red tones, oranges, yellows, and even a bit of green gold I think is always quite good for an autumn leaf. So we'll just let our cats dry a little and then we'll start painting some leaves. I've got a size two brush and I'm going to start by sort of creating a few green gold leaves and I'm just really sort of playing up the curling shape just by flicking the brush around and then I'm going to add in some different colours to these leaves. So I think the best thing is to choose a, a colour that's quite a light colour, like buff titanium or the green gold or even some cadmium yellow maybe. And then you could always just do some, some general sort of regular coloured autumn leaves. And then you can just drop in different colours. Of course we do need some brown as well I suppose. Now does anyone's cat actually do this? I wonder because Crumble, the dog, just goes crazy for leaves, autumn leaves in particular, just falling from the sky and, and dancing in the wind and he just loves it, really enjoys it. Now I'm just sort of building up the scene a little bit with some general brush strokes that's going to place our cats sort of in an area. So just sort of using a wet brush and a little bit of colour. And you can just sort of build up the ground 
as you go. But just keep it nice and light, keep that brush moving. And I'm going to let these dry and then we will add just a little bit extra to them as well as adding a little extra to those lovely cats. Right then, well, first for the cats, we'll get a little bit, just the littlest bit of some shadow going on. And in fact, I'll use a slightly bigger brush. So shadow mix, I'm just using my moon glow for now. But just adding a little bit helps define the legs under the chest and things. And then just a little under the feet. Here and there. We'll give them their paws and claws with the same colour. Very minimal. Gosh, it's all go outside. If you, it's so hot today that I've got the window open as I film and I'm starting to regret it because I can hear so much going on. I hope it's not too distracting for everybody. Okay, now a little eye. Now I'm just doing a really simple little eye and nose on these guys. So, this is Mars Black. either a little full nose or just a bit of a little and it's just a, a really simple little apostrophe really and then with my rigger brush I'm a little bit of that black just take a bit off the colour Ooh, we took off so much colour. A bit, of a bit of fluff on that brush. We'll get rid of that bit of fluff once it's dried. So there we go, we've got our, our eyes popped in. Maybe just a little bit of shadow on those ears. And they're looking good. So now it's time for a bit of fun with our autumn leaves. Like I said, not we don't need too much, but just a few extra little lines here and there with some of the different colours, so some of the maybe stronger colours. Will make all the difference. Right, so I'm just going to wait for this to dry, rub out the pencil, and then we'll have our piece. And with the pencil rubbed out, there is our lovely cat's playing in autumn leaves scene. 
Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a massive thank you to our patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button, comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, the subscription button, hit that button and the little notification bell and I'll see you again next time. Bye.